Well, hello there, and welcome to Rut's Rides. It's time to talk about my 95 Mercedes-Benz E320 wagon. Well, behold this beautiful sight, this wonderful specimen. If you guys know me, I love moving people around. I got three daughters, and this is a car that I always wanted to own. And I'll tell you, it's got a few reasons why. First up, it's a long roof, right? You can't beat it. My dad had a bunch of old Mercedes when I was growing up. He had a, a 1980 or 81. It was a 240D four speed. Man, that thing was so slow. But it had the like sheepskin seat covers a lot of us remember. We used to go and visit my family in New Mexico and we'd have like two tapes. We had Paul Simon Graceland, maybe three, Jimmy Buffett maybe, and then there was a, a audio recording of Pecos Bill, which was a cartoon that uh, was really, man, it was funny, wildly inappropriate. But anyway, I spent a lot of time in Mercedes, old Mercedes growing up, uh, those were all diesel. This is a gas, but let me show you around. So I found this one from my buddy Evan, better known as Item B. Uh, I started following Evan when he moved down to California to go work at Hoonigan. Had a good time there, but realized it wasn't a scene, what he, wasn't what he wanted to do. So he moved uh, up to the Pacific Northwest. He started a group called Auto Handler, where they fix up cars for other people. Um, and he loves BMWs, but he's always been into wagons. So he had this one, and I've been looking for one, and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll get it. So first off, this. That's right, that is the third row rear facing seat. So my daughters love it. And there's more room back here than you'd think. See what I mean? I mean, I can fit. Okay, maybe not with a hat on, but that's close, right? It's crazy, you think about how they jam that fake seat in the back of a Tesla, which is really not safe and I still don't know how they pass a crash test, but this is really what started it, let's be honest. And the Roadmaster. So, I'll show you some other stuff. Real clean inside. I mean, you have to love the styling here on these. She's got just a hair over 191,000 miles. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Let me take that. Just, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Is it, oh, is it ringing? Send. Let's send on here. Do you guys remember these? Some of you probably don't. Kids, they used to have phones like this. Nifty, huh? All right, but now that we're in here, let me show you the coolest thing about this car. Oh, purrs like a kitten. AC is cold. Probably Tom Jones. So, AC is cold. Let me make sure the wheels are straight. And I come over here to this bad boy. Air out. Wait a minute. Wait a darn minute. Ooh, it's on air. Let's go check it out outside now. Come take a look. So my friend Lorenzo at Icebox Customs uses the Commonwealth chassis works we got their bag bracket kit for this car and the commonwealth guys are awesome man they make such cool stuff but there's enough people lowering these that they want to do it right the 124 is such an interesting model the body's in pretty good shape right definitely the paint's at a place where it's going to need a little bit of love so i'm thinking it's going to go to foxy wraps we'll do a little something fun check out down here custom magna flow and the cat back. I wanted something fun and different, but y'all, I mean, you can see how it sits right now. And I just love this. I might wrap it something fun, something minty. You know, it's not perfect. The roof's got some peeling here and there. Right, and it's tough, cause like, you know, there's, there's the V-Wagon, so it gets a little jealous. But, you know, we've got like door trim that needs a little love here. 
but it's sitting on Continental Extreme Contact Sport, the DWS 06 Plus. I'll put the link in the description here so you guys can check these out. This is the same tire that I did the cruise in the Continental US trip with my friend Ryan Eversley. These are 17s on this car. So um, Evan found these wheels. It's a Euro wheel, but it's the same style as the stock one that's a 15 and a 17. And they look, I'm not gonna lie, they look dope, but I have something insane that's coming for it. And they're just waiting on this one little thing. All right, I'm gonna level with you. A lot of stuff happening in COVID. And unfortunately, some of the most trusted brands in the shipping business seem to be losing things. And so there's one thing that I need that's missing and it's lost in the seventh circle of hell that they refer to as Austell. And if you've shipped anything, you'll know what I'm talking about. But boom, look at this, the airlift performance setup. Lorenzo got me looking good. That's my plaid, Icebox Customs. It's a uh, two compressor setup here. I mean, this thing works great. It's quiet, airs up. And what I really love is the adjustability in the ride. You know, I've gotten to play with it a little bit because everybody's different in how they like to set these cars up. I like to still have a little bit of rake to it when I'm driving. So especially if the kids are gonna sit in the back, like I always wanna make sure that they're still comfy. The craziest thing, y'all, got a big Odyssey battery under the hood. You know what there's room for in there? What? Yeah, a 2JZ. You're not, you are, what? You're gonna put a 2JZ under the hood of this thing? Yes, yes I am. Cause I'm a Toyota guy. Like it's cool cause it's a Benz, but I don't care. I still want it to have 500 horsepower to the rear wheels and a big turbo on there and still have cold AC. That's right. So that's the plans with this one. What's coming up next are the beautiful custom three-piece rotiforms that are sitting at Sharpsburg Tire. And as soon as I get out of shipping hell for this one last thing, we're gonna get them on. Uh, they're also gonna have Continental Extreme Contact Sport DWS 06 Plus. Cause again, it's a great tire. Um, they've got a lot of varieties and sizes. It's as fun of a tire as the Extreme Contact Sport, uh, but just a little more of like an all weather year round performance. So that's what I'm gonna run on here. But the custom rotiforms that Jason and Brian designed are so sick. Y'all won't believe it. Thanks for checking it out, Ruts Rides. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, somebody tell me, drop in the comments, what color would you make this? If you were gonna paint it, or if you were gonna wrap it, give me some suggestions. Would you go two-tone? Would you keep it all the same color? Whoever I like the best, I'm gonna send you a shirt to say thanks. Uh, you can go check them out on my website, therutledgewood.com. Pick out some shirts. We got some new ones, see what you like. And then whoever I like their comment the best, I'm gonna send you a shirt. Thanks for watching. See you next time.